Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Maika and today we are going to be talking about bright lipstick colors. I thought it's spring. Hey, when do I like to wear bright lipsticks? In the spring and summertime. So I couldn't have picked a better time to do this video. I hope you're with me on that. Um, so the colors that I will be showing you in this video are mainly like pinks, corals, oranges, and I also have some purples in here. Um, so those are the things that you will be finding in this video. I will be talking about each one of them briefly and I will be swatching them on my arm. I have too many to do lip swatches. I hit, I hit the sweet spot around the like 20 lipstick mark. That's when my lips start cracking too badly and I have more than 20 here for you. In fact, in total I have 33 lipsticks to talk you through. So that's a lot. I've categorized them in their different color ranges and that's how we're going to be talking about them. So let's start with the category that I was surprised that I had this many and that is corals that lean a little bit towards the like peachy, more peachy side of things, like peachy orangey side. I am not a big fan of like peachy thing, like things on my lips really. Uh, and that is why I was surprised I still had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because I don't wear these a whole lot, yet I have found a couple that I like on me throughout the years. Um, the newest one is the Zoeva Lip Crayon from the Premier Collection, and this is in the shade Theoretical, Theoretical, Theatrical Extravaganza. Try saying that three times fast. Um, and this is really nice. As you can see, it is just a really nice sort of like orangey, corally shade and it definitely leans a lot more orange than some of the other ones. Uh, I also have Charlotte Tilbury's Sexy Sienna that I would like to put in here. I may have also put this in my nudes video, uh, but this is sort of like a lipstick that can look nude on you, especially if you're darker, but on a light complexion like my, then uh, this shade definitely pulls a lot more uh, coral. And as you can see, this is much more peachy. So where the first one is definitely more of like that orange tone that it has, this is a bit more peach. And I love wearing this in the springtime. I pull this out every year. Catrice also do some, um, and this is in the shade looks like coral and this is sort of like that corally shade where is it pink is it orange you don't really know uh so maybe i should have put this with my more pink toned corals but i always think of this as being a little bit more orange than pink so that's why this has got to go here uh, and this is by the way an ultimate stay lipstick which i think has been discontinued, but maybe in some countries these might still be available, which is why I throw it in here. They also used to do a brighter version of like a coral in the shade Hot and Spicy from their Ultimate Color range. I believe this has been discontinued, but this is such a nice bright shade as well for the springtime. And this is a little bit more orange again. So again, it is coral, but where this has a lot of orange, the Zoeva one, uh, this one is definitely more of that uh, coral vibe. One of my favorites that I just can't get rid of, despite the fact that I don't really like the formula, is this lipstick by Illamasqua. This is in the shade Scandalous, and Illamasqua matte lipsticks are known for being some of the um, uh, some of the driest and most difficult to apply on the planet, uh, but once these are on, they won't budge. And Scandalous is definitely a coral, and uh, like I said, I just kept this around because I felt I didn't have a lot of these like corally shades. This is again, um, if you put it next to the Catrice one, the Catrice one has a little bit more brightness to it. It's more like vibrant, whereas the Elamasca one is a little bit more muted. I also have a coral by MAC. This is Watch Me Simmer, and I've had this for a while, and I just didn't end up wearing it as much as I thought I would. Uh, but this is again that more orange toned coral, and even though these are all very similar to one another, now that I'm swatching them together, I'm like, ooh, but yeah, they're all different. More peachy, a little bit more pinky, uh, brighter, more orange, 
And these definitely sort of have that, is it orange, is it sort of kind of vibe to it. And then I also have Tilt by Urban Decay. I'm not sure if this is listed on their website as a coral, but I categorize this as a coral. Um, it is definitely, again, much more orange than some of the other ones that I have here. Uh, so orange toned corals are not my favorite, but it is a very particular shade that I like to reach for mostly in this time of year. Then a similar number goes to pinky corals because I also like those. And for some reason, they all come in stick form. I'm not sure why. Uh, let's just start with this because this is a Dutch brand. This is by Hema and this is their soft matte lip balm. Now, if you're Dutch, who remembers everybody going gaga for these? Uh, this is in the shade number seven and I believe they still do this. Um, and this is, oh, see, this could have gone in the other category too. So that's something that I was already fearing, but this looks a little bit more pink on me than the other ones. The other ones definitely pull more orange. Um, I also have an e.l.f. Uh, matte lip color. This is in the shade Hot Commodity. I'm not sure what the status is of, is of these e.l.f. lipsticks. Um, they may have been discontinued. And this is a lot more pink. There you have the e.l.f. one. So the uh, Hema one is again very bright, sort of very poppy kind of color. I love that in the springtime. This is a bit more muted, a bit more sheer as well, which is why I don't wear it all that much, but it is the fa my favorite out of the entire matte lip, lip color line by, uh, by e.l.f. because it's definitely something a little bit more different and it makes, because of that sheer color, it's more of a wash and it's not so bright. So if corals aren't your thing and you're a bit scared of them, then e.l.f.'s hot commodity can be a nice one to check out. This one a bit, I'm a bit unsure of. This is the Catrice Matte Lover Lipstick Pen. And the shade of this is called Tomato Red is Fab. But it's just not that red if you look at it in the stick. So I was thinking this is probably more of a coral than anything else. But it's perhaps a little bit more red toned. And yes, I'm right. It's more of a red toned coral. Again, coral can also be red. Um, so that is a nice one, but it definitely fits in this color family a lot more than it would in like a red toned one. So those are the ones so far. I do have to say that I'm making that distinction between orange toned and pink toned, and I'm not really seeing it yet. It all just looks coral to me. <laughs> um, I also have, I carried a watermelon by Catrice as well, and this is a lip dresser shine stilo. Again, I believe this has been discontinued. Um, and this is one of those clicky pens. And this is a very nice sort of juicy looking shade. Again, a little bit more sheer, but it's also very nourishing on the lips. So especially like I like this if you were to like go out on a beach day or something like this, then this is a really nice shade to wear because it has that brightness, but it has more of like that pinky watermelon vibe to it. This is the shade of sort of like your lips when you've just eaten fresh watermelon. It's sort of that shade and I really like that. A very new lipstick that I haven't tried enough yet, so don't pin me down on anything, but I got some of these new ColourPop uh, Velvet Blur lipsticks. This is in the shade Super Bloom, which is also one that seems to be quite hyped up. And it is sort of like, is it a red? Is it a pink? Is it a coral? Who knows? It's definitely a bit more out there. Again, a little bit more of a red toned, pinky toned coral, um, but it's definitely not too pink. And that's what I like about pink toned corals is that they can really sort of, if you're not into pinks all that much because they're too cool toned, then going for like a pink toned coral will give you the same vibe, but with a bit more warmth. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, I also have Checkmate by Urban Decay, which looks like this. And then if I swatch that, ooh, that's very similar. Ooh, the ColourPop one is pretty much a dupe for the Urban Decay one. I love finding dupes in these videos. Um, but yeah, that's a nice one, and I wear Checkmate a lot. That, that is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's very matte, though, um, so that has to be your cup of tea. But that's Checkmate right there. And then last but not least, we have Kiss Kiss Hibiscus. And this is one of the reasons why I know there are 
pink toned corals and orange toned corals because this lipstick is very different from the other Catrice one I just showed you. This is one from their Ultimate Color line. So there we have Kiss Kiss Hibiscus. Speaking of oranges then, uh, since I'm mentioning that anyways, let's have a look at orange lipstick because I don't have that many. Uh, a pure orange is very hard to find and I have two of them in a liquid formula. Case in point, Kat Von D's. This is a go-go and this is such a nice, fun, true orange, which is why I didn't put this with my reds because an orange... I love that shade. I know Kat Von D is a problematic brand, but I'm not going to get rid of something that is so unique to my collection, even though the brand is a bit shady. Uh, I also have Heroin by Maybelline, and this is one of their Superstay Matte Inks. I love the formula of these, and their red in Pioneer is one of my favorite reds. Um, this is in the shade Heroin, and I wanted to swatch it next to the Kat Von D to see if this may be a dupe, but I think the Kat Von D may actually be a bit more orange, and this probably has a bit more pink to it, yeah. So as you can see here, the Maybelline is not really a dupe because it's a lot more pink. Um, so it, it looks orange in the tube, it will look orange on your lips, but it's not the same kind of orange as the Kat Von D one. If you're Dutch and you're looking for the <laughs> orange shade for your lips, then this is much more of like Dutch orange than the Maybelline one. A fairly recent purchase in terms of orange has been this MAC lipstick in Morange. Um, this is MAC's orange lipstick. Let me see how it pairs up. Oh yes. Also for the Dutchies out there, if you're looking for a orange lipstick for King's Day, there you have it. Um, more orange just maybe a bit easier to get than the Kat Von D over here, so MAC is a good one. And I have one by Catrice. This is in O Juicy, and this has long since been discontinued. And the reason why I hang on to this is because there isn't a single orange lipstick on the market that is similar to this shade. As you can see, there are four here. That's the Kat Von D. That is Maybelline, and this is MAC, and this is Catrice. And in terms of orange, I feel that this is a little brighter than the MAC. They're very close, and you can no longer get this, but the reason why it's still in my collection is because this is just the best orange that's ever been made, in my opinion. Now we've gone over corals and oranges, let's talk pinks and purples. So the, the pinks and purples I have for you in this video today are the ones that aren't berry. Um, I did a berry lipstick video in the fall time, so I will make sure to link that in the eye above. These are all pinks uh, and things I, that I like to wear as pinks. There is one lipstick in here that is a little bit newer to me, so I wanted to just show it to you. I'm not sure how well it will go with the other things that are in here. Let's just talk very vibrant, Neon pink. I already put this in another video, uh, my unusual lipstick shades, and in terms of brights, this is one of the brightest lipsticks I own, and I think it's a great way to get yourself started wearing more unusual lipsticks, sort of to get yourself, you know, make yourself get used to it. This is by YSL, and the shade is called Tropical Pink. The number on this is worn off, but it, I believe it's 49, uh, so let me swatch this for you. So there is the YSL. If you're looking for something that is not as bougie and as, as and expensive, then MAC also do one. Namely, their shade in Candy Yum Yum is very similar to this. Left-handed swatches are not my favorite. So there we have Candy Yum Yum and there is the YSL. The YSL, dare I say it, is probably even brighter and more blue-toned than Candy Yum Yum. Can you imagine that? But yeah, that seems to be the case here. The YSL one is so bright that my camera doesn't even pick up on it. It's like, no, I don't want this. So Candy Yum Yum and YSL, very similar, but I'd say that the Candy Yum Yum one is a little bit more uh, pigmented and it just 
uh, but they look very similar on the lips. I was going to tell, uh, talk to you about something new as well. So I saw Tati do a review of these Zara lipsticks and I was like, Zara do lipsticks? I need to get on it. So that's why I got a few of their matte lipsticks. This is in the shade UM7 and it looks like a little bit of like a brighter berry shade. So that could, that could work as a pink. It's definitely a little bit more of a darker pink. So these are the kind of pinks I like to wear in like the fall and the winter time when they're a bit more berry toned. But I just wanted to throw it in this video and show uh, a new lipstick that I'm trying out. So both the ColourPop and the Zara ones are quite new. So I'm still testing them out. Uh, I haven't really tried a lot of new lipsticks in a while. And I was like, ooh, I wanna try some new formulas. And this is something I ended up with. So that's a little bit darker. Um, but I also have some fun, bright options, of course. This is Milani's Orchid, and this is almost like a pink with a lot of like purple to it. It's also very bright and poppy, which I love. Oops, that's a bit of a shoddy swatch right there. But there is the Milani one, and it's just really nice. It's such a bright orchid shade, hence the name. Um, and I really like that one too. Um, very similar to that, I think, is Romantic by Maybelline. This is again from their Super Stay Matte Incline. Of course, they are different textures. The Milani one is also matte, but the Maybelline one is definitely a little bit more pigmented, probably because it starts as a liquid and it's just something you can layer on a little bit more. But in, in terms of shade, I feel they are very close together. Um... Then we have some more bright shades here. This is perhaps more of a coral, but I always think of this as a pink. This is Max Impassioned. Uh, and I definitely think it should have gone on the other side, but I feel this, if you put this next to a coral, it's too pink. And if you put it next to pinks, it's too coral. It's really one of those strange in-between kind of shades, but there we have Impassioned. Definitely more should have gone on that side, I think. We have some Urban Decay again, uh, because I love Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. This is Menace, and Urban Decay do some really good bright shades. And Menace, in case you are wondering, is what I'm wearing on my lips today. So this lipstick is what is on my face, just so you know. Uh, I really like the formula. This is a comfort matte. Yes, it is. It's a comfort matte and that is what it looks like. Again, the Maybelline Romantic Orchid, those are just my kind of bright pinks, like these like very poppy shades and something again similar in that vein is the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick by ColourPop in the shade Mars. With ColourPop, you never know whether they've discontinued something, so I hope you can still get this because this is one of my favorites. If you wanna see the shoddiest swatch of Mars in your lifetime, then there it is. Uh, because that's what this is. Uh, this is definitely a bad swatch, but the color, mm, really nice. And it really fits that same vein of like all of these pink lipsticks here. So now that we're done with pinks, let's do some purples. I also put some purple lipstick in my unusual lipstick shade. Again, purple lipstick is something that if you find like blues and things like that a little too much, then a purple because it's close sometimes to a pink, can really sort of work if you want something a bit more different and a bit more unique. Um, one of the purples I started off with is Hot Plum from the uh, Vibrant or Vivids line by Maybelline. This is really nice, but it pulls definitely more pink. This looks a lot more scary and a lot more purple in the tube than it does on the lips. So that is good to know. So that's why I wanted to sort of bridge the gap so there you have hot plum, which is not a plum and it's not hot, but it is more of like a very bright pink with a very blue undertone, which makes it look a little bit purple, but not quite. Another shade that does that for me that I really like is the shade Automatic Touch from the Milani Amore Metallics Lip Cream line. So this is a liquid lipstick. I believe these were limited edition and I got rid of most of the ones I had apart from this one, because this one is just such a unique shade. Again, it has a very pink undertone. So if you're getting started in purple lipstick, then this can be really nice. It's not as metallic as the name might suggest. 
It has a sheen to it, most definitely, but it isn't as intense as you might think. This is a really bad swatch because the wand sort of drags the product away from the middle. Uh, but once you put it on your lips, you can nicely sheer it out, layer it up, and that way it looks really pretty actually. So that's nice. A lipstick that I've only put on my lips for the picture, but I haven't worn out yet. I just haven't really felt like it yet. Is Madison from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I bought this because I saw too much Tash talking about it. And I was like, yep, I need that. Again, it is it it's a purple, but it has something a bit more different to it that makes it a lot more wearable. So it's definitely a wearable purple, I would say, but it's also very bright. There we have the Anastasia swatch right there. It actually looks, in this lighting, it looks very similar to the Milani, but without the shine to it. The Milani has that shimmer particle to it, and this is fully matte, especially once it dries down. But tone-wise, I think they are very similar. Flat Out Fabulous by MAC is a classic. I don't own Heroin. That's one that I'm still umming and ahhing about, but I think it may not really fit my complexion. Flat Out Fabulous is, again, one of those purples that has a bit more pink to it. So I think this will go nicely with these. It's a retro matte finish, so they're terrible to swatch. But there we have the MAC. Uh, as you can see, it has that more pinky berry undertone almost. Very flattering. I also have some straight up purples. Uh, Vibrant Violet by Maybelline. Um, but there you have Vibrant Violet. This is really, really nice. Um, whoops, everything is falling over. In terms of purple, this was very, for a very long time the only true purple lipstick that I had. But again, trying some new things here. Uh, and so in the ColourPop line, I found Sorry, not Sorry, but it seems to have a bit of that pinky undertone. I'm not sure if it's like truly a purple. It is a purple, but it seems to have more of like a lavender quality to it. I really like it. It's definitely very unique, not something I owned previously. And then finally, we have H&M. I heard Angelica Nukvist rave about the H&M. H&M cream lipsticks so much that I got a few. And I believe this was limited edition for the Christmas time, I believe. Um, this is Free Spirit. And that looks like a straight up purple to me. So let's swatch this. Yeah, not as purple as the Maybelline one. That is still my closest thing to a real purple. But this is very close as well. It has more of like a pink undertone, I have to say. Again, it starts in that like more pink range that's going on here. It's definitely not as blue as the Maybelline one. Yeah, those are all of the lipsticks that I wanted to show you in terms of bright lipstick colors. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that this gives you an idea of what bright lipsticks are out there and what might be right for you. I always love seeing swatches because it just helps um, with making decisions on lipstick colors, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know in a comment down below what bright lipstick is your favorite. I would love to know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more by me. That would be lovely. And uh, for now, I would like to thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.